Hey guys, welcome back again. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing the iPhone 13 Pro with the iPhone 12 mini or an head to head comparison. We're gonna take a look at the hardware, the software, overall build value, whether if you're gonna be comparing these two phones, whether you're buying one or looking to upgrade, simply wanna know the difference between these two devices. We're gonna break all of that down and much more. And before we go ahead and get started with today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure that like and subscribe. But also if you guys are in the market for any of these devices, at a discounted price. Make sure you guys check out the link in the description section. So let's dive into it. The Pro versus the Mini model. Again, the Mini was the very first time Apple has introduced it with the 12 lineup. And why is it called the Mini? Well, it's Mini because it is for the very first time a 5.4 inch all screen display that was introduced by Apple for the very first time. Of course, 13 actually has a mini version as well now. So you can actually compare, get the mini if you really like that size because Apple figured that, you know, it has those bigger phones, the 5 point, the 6.1 inch display and why not introduce a really smaller phones for people with really smaller hands or maybe you just simply don't like a bulging big phone in your pocket because you still want that all screen display but don't want that full display here slightly noticeable in the packaging of both of these two phones right off the bat you notice here of course apple doesn't include much and that's starting with the iphone 12 lineup is that the only thing you're getting is that usb-c charging cable you don't get that power or the wall adapter any longer or the headphone or that big pamphlet that you used to get so without uh, much going on apple is looking to be it's known as eco-friendly. The other thing in the unboxing video we've seen is that Apple removed plastic a wrapper that used to be available on its previous generation of phones. So that's gonna be the other thing here. Of course, if we just take a look at the boxes itself, of course, the mini, smaller box, bigger box, of course, smaller phones, smaller box, bigger phone, bigger box. So let's, enough with the boxes and the sizes, let's really get into the details of both of these two phones. As you'll see here, side by side comparison, you'll see how tall the 13 Pro is compared to the mini one because that smaller phone. You also notice the build is pretty much the same in terms of the design here. It's not that you're getting a slightly different phone, it's just a smaller phone. And the first noticeable difference is gonna be in the back of the phones here, again, 13 Pro, probably the one of the biggest things you guys seen in other review videos and or other videos, it's gonna be the cameras here. Yeah, of course, it does have three triple camera versus the two dual camera here. That's because of the Pro model and the Pro Max lineup here. But those cameras are just simply bulging out compared to the mini over here. So that's gonna be a big noticeable thing. The other noticeable thing you'll probably see is that dot right here, that's actually uh, LiDAR dot right there that's not available or well, which simply helps you take a uh, better pictures uh, on your iPhone 13 Pro compared to the mini one here of course other things like the Apple logo here you'll see here other thing we want to mention is the color choices you're gonna get between these two devices the Pro lineup which is a premium lineup usually comes in your base silver gold graphite color you get that and then the special specific or blue this blue color that is special to call zero blue color in the previous 12 lineup it actually was, was the specific blue model so apple seems to just switch up the blue color here by giving you a different version or a different shade of blue the 12 mini here on the other hand gets a little bit colorful if you're looking for a phone to really add and have more vibrant color you don't like those standard color or the zero blue you can get the mini in purple blue green product red, white, and black as well. So when it comes to color, you get six choices versus four on uh, the Pro here. Again, that's specifically very picky with the color and you just want that maybe a purple color or that green color that's not available or the red color for some reason. So that's gonna be the one thing. Now, the other thing we wanna talk about is the price point between these devices. Of course, the Pro starts with the base 128 gig you're gonna be paying $9.99 plus tax. On the mini here, Apple actually dropped uh, the price down $100 when the 13 mini came out with starting at $5.99, but you're limited with 64 gig of storage. And that's where the next thing we wanna talk about is the base storage on the mini here, which not sure why Apple didn't give us that 128 gig, which it does with 
the regular 12 and the 12 Pro Max. So that's something Apple has. Again, it went cheap with in terms of the storage here. And that's really important because as you know, with iPhones, you can't really add external disk or device like an SD card or something. You have to either get iCloud storage with the iOS 15 lineup. You have to get what's known as iCloud Plus, pay monthly or yearly for that storage if you want to store stuff. And that's going to be the other thing is that if you're really looking for a phone, probably with the most specced out storage, you're looking at the 13 Pro here. Starts at 128 gig, goes all the way up to the fourth configuration, which is going to be one terabyte. But then again, you are paying extra couple hundred dollars to get that one terabyte of storage on the 13 Pro here. Now let's take it back a little bit again with the build on the body of this. Slightly in the details, if you really look into it and care about the build body of these devices, there's actually, uh, both of them does have ceramic shield front, but on the 13 Pro, you get the surgical grade stainless steel body, so more premium compared to that aerospace grade aluminum body on the 12 mini here. So that's gonna be one thing to note. Of. You also notice these speakers on the bottom here, if you can see here, on the Pro here, it seems like you're getting oh, one more or two more speakers more than your Mini here. So that's going to be that right there. So between these two phones, again, they, they're pretty powerful phones. They do come in very much when you look at the SIP, ch SIP chat on this phone. The 13 Pro here comes with the A15 Bionic chip, where on the iPhone, mini here that we have comes with the a14 bionic chip so chipset wise you're getting a you know one generation which apple claims on the pro model here is that it's the fastest chip ever in any smartphone and that's pretty much what apple said when they came out with the 12 mini and the 12 lineup as well with each iteration apple simply goes above and beyond with their chipset but if you look under the hood actually there's a couple differences and that's going to be something noticeable especially if you play games or multitask a lot and if you're really conscious about performance is that on the 12 mini you have six core cpu versus on the 13 pro you have this new six core cpu you also get five core gpu versus only four core on the mini here and you also get this new 16 core neuro engine again here on the 12 mini you do have this older version of their neuro engine as well so in terms of that and the last thing is going to be around the ram between this device so you get four gigs of ram on the mini here versus six gigs so almost two more gigs of ram and again heavy gamers or people multitasking or really just looking to have the smartest and the most that you can get 13 pro it's going to be where it's at now let's talk about the battery life of these two devices again this is going to be another deciding factor for most of you out there especially if you're conscious of having a phone that you want to last all day you want a good battery right so when it comes to battery life on these devices you're going to notice that there's a big difference in battery life and what we mean by a big difference is that on the on the 13 pro here you're going to see what's known uh, what you're going to see is that it has a 3100 mAh battery compared to 20 e 227 mAh battery almost a thousand mAh difference it's a bigger phone on the 13 pro and it needs that power especially with that uh, display that's 120 hertz uh resolution pro motion going on that uh, oled display that really does take a lot of power and bigger screen means more consumption of power and when you talk about power and such we want to look at especially when you're comparing battery is video playback that's a good indicator the 12 mini here gives you 15 hours of video playback where on the 13 pro you get 22 hours of video playback almost swapping seven hour difference in terms of video playback so when you're looking purely on battery and you really care about that if you want a phone that lasts you pretty much most of the day you're going to go with the 13 pro because of that bigger size battery and apple claims that this 13 pro is an all-day battery again all day depending on what sort of usage you do of course if you're somewhere between a medium user probably going to last you the whole day won't be the same case for the mini here you're probably going to go three-fourths of the way 
day before you need to go ahead and plug it in for another charge. But again, both of the phones can actually utilize what's known as fast charge on these phones. Simply means that you can hook it up to a 20 watt external uh, power adapter, which you have to buy separate, of course, because Apple doesn't give those 5 watt anymore or the 18 watt ones on the previous generation model. But you're able to charge these phones faster than previous older model phones here. Now let's talk about the display here. We mentioned the display here, slightly here in terms of the size. Of course, the size between these is gonna be 6.1 versus 5.4 inch. Both of them are actually super retina XDR display. The one noticeable difference with the display is if when we start to look around is that you have that ProMotion 120 hertz versus just that simply 60 hertz refresh rate. So it feels a little bit uh, crispier in terms of just when you open up launch apps, when you look at the bright, max bright in it, things like that, you're going to be getting more out of the 13 Pro basically just to simplify things. And that's because the brightness is going to be another fact, especially if you take this phone outside a lot, you're going to get only 625 max bright in it versus a 1000 max bright knit on uh, the 13 Pro here. So that's going to be another thing to consider when you're looking at the two phones. Now let's go ahead and talk about finally between these devices what software you're looking at. So the software on the 13 Pro of course is going to be the latest version when it if you're buying it right now off the shelf you're going to get iOS 15 and there's already a 15.1 update that you can upgrade your 13 Pro with. On the mini here, you can actually upgrade it to iOS 15 as well here. It was originally released on iOS 15. You got all the features like focus mode, live text, uh, pretty much drag and drop, all of that and much more here. But of course, you don't have cinematic, cinematic mode that's possible on the 13 Pro here. As you can see here, you only have portrait mode. And when it comes to even portrait mode, you don't get the night vision on the mini here only the 13 pro has night vision on it when it comes to portrait mode of course regular photo it does have night mode for you both of the phones can record up to 4k in 60 frame seconds so you can see here we can actually go ahead and record it in that 60 frames per second so between these two devices again Camera wise, triple camera is always going to be better than the two camera that you have. So finally, let's conclude in terms of why you might be getting the 13 Pro over your 12 mini. Of course, first thing first, it's going to be your those triple cameras that allow you to do three times more optical zoom than the mini here. You have that 128 hertz refresh rate again to really launch app really quick and fast and it makes it feel like it's fast you get that impression here you also get that 0 0.7 inch uh larger screen size versus that at 5.4 versus 6.1 again that's going to be other thing now when it comes to battery we mentioned that of course the battery life on the 13 pro is much better here when it comes to max brightness you get almost 70 percent max higher brightness on the 13 Pro, so if you're taking it outside or in the nature walk, of course, you would be looking at the 13 Pro here. Of course, also not to say is that between these two devices, it's going to be uh, battery life. It's going to be 23% longer on the iPhone 13 Pro when you really take it down and do the math here. Now, when it comes to performance, we mentioned that both of the phones does have really powerful chipset. You have 6 gig versus 4 gig and A15 Bionic chip versus A14 Bionic chip, of course, the iPhone 13 Pro. It's going to be 25% better performance, especially when you did some benchmark tests between these devices. So those are going to be the reason why you're probably looking at the 13 Pro. Now, why would you consider the 12 mini? Well, if you're really considering the 12 mini, if you want to pay that extra $100 instead of $599, $699, we'll probably say go with the 13 mini because 13 mini is also available. Why, you know, not just spend that $100 for that upgraded model? Of course, if you really care about the 12 mini here, the one thing we did say, it's a smaller phone. It's really nice to hold, especially if you don't want to hold a bulkier phone. Slides in, fits in really well, lightweight on your hand. And when it comes to lightweight, 
69 grams lighter than the pro model here and of course that's sort of the breakdown of these two phones that we can give you guys we want to hear from you guys what do you guys think about these two phones if you guys use one versus another leave a comment in the comment section hopefully this in-depth review helped you guys and if this video helped make sure that that like and subscribe button see you guys next time